Hi guys, Alice Taylor here, and today we're down at Lillian Golf Academy. And just a quick video, um, Nike Golf obviously pulled out of making clubs about six months ago. We've seen a real shift for them. Uh, so now they're not making clubs, certainly retaining the guys that they had on clothing and footwear contracts, but also adding quite a few new guys to the kind of stable. Uh, first of all being Jason Day, so welcome to the family Jason. Um, great video showing Jason going up to practice in the winter, uh, very much in the modern athlete look. So, other athletes as well, Thomas Peters, Alex Noren and many more will be joining I'm sure over the next few months. But for me, I want to give you guys a bit of a, a look at the modern go golf athlete look and talk to you about why I think it's a kind of marriage made in heaven for Nike, that they can have guys wearing their clothes and shoes, but guys can continue to play the equipment they want. So, modern golf athlete, what is the look? Here it is. So, I have got my Aeroloft Zone jacket on, just like Jason, nice and warm. I've got my shorts, but I've got my tights. So, not sure about the look for me personally. You guys feel free to comment below. If there's enough comments and enough views on the video, might even wear the whole outfit for a full day's coaching. But at the moment I'm leaning towards maybe not quite the look for me personally. I think some of the athletes out there look a lot better. But kind of how does it feel? I mean the top and everything feels great, you know, nice and kind of snug on the arms, a little bit of freedom in the body. The tights feel nice and warm, which is great. So we've got M1, we're going very Jason Day today. M1 driver, off we go. Yeah, if I did it like that every time, might start playing in tights. So let's just check that wasn't a lucky one. Let's go one more. <clears throat> so yeah, it's, it's different, and I've got to be honest, coming down to Studio 2 at Lillian Golf Academy, had some strange looks off some of the customers. I'm not sure they were approving looks either, but we'll see. So one more. Yeah, that's great. Probably about 60 yards back on where Jason's hitting it. Maybe further back than that from Thomas Peters. But the reason I think it's a, it's a great move for Jason Day, and I think it's a great move for all the guys that actually do manage to sign with Nike for the clothing, is when guys sign for Nike, it's not just that they're getting clothing that's kind of engineered to perform at its best, but it's also giving them kind of, they're able to access athletes from other sports that are also contracted to Nike. So when Rory moved from kind of tight list and Oakley uh, to Nike, his big thing was that he was suddenly going to be able to pick the brains of the best athletes in the world on how to prepare, how to train, to make him the best he can. And I think all these top players are just looking for that, you know, that extra two, five percent of their game. And if they've, they've got access to all these other players from different sports, they can look at different training regimes and see if it helps them get something better out of them. And they also know that Nike as a company are always trying to stay at the forefront of what's going to help them be most comfortable and what's going to help them perform at their best. Now, it still gives the guys the opportunity to stay with the product they have. Jason Day's just signed a new long-term agreement to continue playing everything that's tailor-made. For him, that product's worked fantastically well. It's got him to world number one. He obviously believes in the, the company and the product, so he's gonna continue using something that he does. But he's openly said that it's kind of a dream come true to him, for him to be wearing Nike clothing, you know, and be associated with that company. Other players though, I mean, you've got Rory, still wearing the Nike clothing. Because they're not making clubs anymore, he's now free to pick and choose. So he's in no rush to tie himself to equipment. We've seen him at the end of 2016 with TaylorMade, Fairway Woods and Driver. We've seen start of 2017, he's got the new um, Callaway Epic Sub-Zero Driver. He's then switched into Callaway Irons, uh, Titleist Wedges, Odyssey Putter, Titleist Golf Ball. So he's kind of really keeping his options open. And I do think, 
I might be proved wrong with this. I do think that this is the way golf's going to go. I think you'll get a few players will tire themselves to a manufacturer, but I think more of the guys, the, the, the money's so good now if they perform well, I think they're willing to stay open and try, you know, driver from one manufacturer, irons from another, putter from another, just simply what works best in the bag for them. Now for me, this is what club golfers should be doing anyway. It's never a case of looking for everything to match. When you get fitted, you should be trying whichever drivers are going to suit and picking the best one. Doesn't mean your fairway woods have to match. You know, we're seeing at the moment that the, tail the new TaylorMade M1 and M2 fairway woods are really performing great. So a lot of guys are going into them, even though they may have Callaway, Ping drivers. So for me, more and more of the tour players, sounds weird, are kind of going probably a little bit back to how they were as amateurs. You know, going to be able to put what they feel works best in the bag. Having said that, if they do tie themselves to one manufacturer, they're not going to do that at a risk of them not performing well. So I think you'll see more and more players wearing Nike head to toe. In fact, I think I've seen a picture of Thomas Peters, and guys comment below. I'm sure I've seen him with his Callaway cap, but Nike clothing. Now in the past, you'd have never got that with Nike. It was always head to toe, glove, everything was them. No other sponsors, logos around. Simply you'd just see the swoosh, and that was it. But I think they're having to be a bit more flexible. I think it's great for the players. They can still be loyal to certain sponsors, still get the best of what they want for clothing, footwear, and like I said, use the best product that they can. So guys, me being dressed like this, kind of a little bit of fun. Um, like I said, comment below, see what you think. I'll give you a full twirl. Not sold, personally. I think other guys look a lot better in it than I do. But modern golf athlete, not sure whether there should be a question after that. Um, I think you'll see more and more guys, particularly in practice rounds, now they're allowed to wear shorts, wearing tights if it's not quite as warm. As ever guys, thank you for watching my video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like it, thumbs up. Share it if you could, I'd really appreciate that. Follow me on all the social media platforms that I'm on. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Hopefully catch up with you down here soon. Stay in contact.